I'd like you to talk some more about your father. What do you want to know? He was an alcoholic? Well, not officially. He didn't think he was. But he drank a lot. Don't talk about it, Norman. Why are you here? I don't want you thinking about this or talking about it. I have to, Mother. You can't be here. I have to be here. You're not listening to me. Is she here, Norman? She doesn't want me to talk to you. Can I talk to her? I'm right here. Just leave him alone. If you want to ask him something, ask me. Why don't you want him to talk for himself? Because there's things that have happened. Things that he does not need to remember. And I have worked very hard to make him forget about these things, and I don't need you undoing it. I think it might help him. If I was there, it won't help him. It will crush him. Don't blame me. It's not my fault. I didn't realize who I had married, how ill he was, and I didn't know how to leave. I tried once. I got Norman, and I packed a bag, and we got in the car and left, but I couldn't leave because I couldn't find Dylan. He wasn't home, and we were just driving around the neighborhood trying to find him. Sam found us. I got in the car, held a gun to my head, and made me drive back to the house. What the hell did you think you were doing? Do you think you could just walk out on me? Just leave me here! Sam! No! I'll kill us all, Norma! No! Stop! Sorry! I'm sorry! I just... You're right! You're right, Sam! Please, let's just go and Okay, I, I, I could never leave. You know that. I just, I was mad. Okay, baby. I don't want him to know these things. It will kill both of us. Please, doctor, if you have a heart, don't make him remember these things. Or I will have to do something about it. <laughs> 